Hello, this is author Rhoda Detour at rhodadetour.com and we already showed you how to make the styles and formatting options. That's how I did this where the smaller and centered copyright is up here under this paragraph style. If you click on it, you'll see that it highlights copy because that's what I named it. Um, if I come down here, it's going to highlight text body indexed because everything that's in the body is aligned with these specific characteristics that we named it. Justified, the indents are at 0.3, and you could do all different kinds of things with this. This is a really cool system for people to learn. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to, somebody asked me how to insert links. So what you do is you highlight what it is that you want to turn into a link, come up to insert, and hyperlink. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. If you're going to, if you want to link to a source that's outside of the document, meaning it's online, you want to go to YouTube, you want to go to Facebook, to Twitter, then you're going to click on this here that says Internet, and the target is the website that you want to enter. So I'm going to put roadedetour.com because that's where I want to send the people. And the text can be anything you want. So you could put visit author site. And when I click apply, notice right here it has my full link. But when I hit apply, it just changed the wording and actually made it a hyperlink. When you run the cursor over top of it, it tells you exactly what the link is. And if you click control and click on it, left click on it, it'll take you to that link so that you can make sure that it's working. Now you can do this with the Facebook. My Facebook link is www.facebook.com slash Detour. And I'm going to leave Rota Detour on Facebook and hit apply and you can see here it made a link. You can do that with every, you know, any kind of links you want. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, your websites, reviews, Goodreads, whatever it is you want. But when it comes to, say you want to put this on Smashwords, Smashwords will not allow you to link back to Amazon or individual retailers. You can link back to Smashwords site, your, your Smashwords site profile, but you can't, or to generic, um, like your own website or to YouTube. But what happens is Apple and Barnes and & Noble and the other retailers, they don't want you linking back the sales sites for other retailers for their competitors. So you have to be careful where you link to. Another thing that you can do here, you can actually send um, what we call a bookmark and send something, send a link within a document. So say... Um, I'm just going to use this example for reviews. Say I want to hit that review that was up top, and when I click on it, I want to send it here to this Reviews for Newborn Nazi. What I would do is insert, and you come down to Bookmark. And what it is is it's going to mark that as a landing, page, a landing site. So I'll put Review and click OK. Now, I just named that bookmark reviews. So when we come back up to the original, the original place, I'm going to highlight this reviews, and now I'm going to insert hyperlink. This time, instead of clicking on Internet, we're going to hit Document because you're actually going to find a landing site within this document. When you do this, if you look here, it says target in document. Click on this bullseye, and then you come over here and click on bookmarks. And you'll see reviews. That's what we named the landing bookmark. So 
when you double click on it and you can hit apply you're going to see a pound sign and whatever you named your bookmark again you can name this anything you want you can name it i can name it review for newborn nazi and it's going to change when i click you see it actually changed the wording if i just want to put it back to reviews then I could click apply again and it changes it back again. Now, this is how um, you can manually set up a table of contents, but you don't necessarily have to do that if you have Calibra, which is a free program, which I'm going to show in, on another video how you can do that. But as far as hyperlinking and bookmarking, this is the best way to navigate throughout your system when you're using OpenOffice. Um, I found it to be really easy and uh, you can do a lot with it. And by doing it this way, rather than having, you know, your sales links that can look um, kind of long and unprofessional, rather than doing that, you can just put, buy my book. You know, you can make this buy on Amazon instead of this huge long link and then when you click apply it'll say buy on Amazon with the link so if you have any questions be sure to post below and visit me at rotadetour.com